Welcome to Grammar School by Study Smarter. This video focuses on how to use different tenses and aspects in academic writing. First, if you are unsure of what tenses and aspects are, or just want a quick refresher, watch Study Smarter's introductory video on these concepts. For the purposes of this video, however, all you need to know is that most academic writing uses the simple aspect, with the occasional perfect form, but continuous and perfect continuous forms are rare. Although there are some patterns for how tenses are used in academic writing, there are no hard and fast rules, and you will in all likelihood find variations and exceptions the more you read. So, with that in mind, let's have a look at those patterns. When discussing the current study, what this particular book or journal article does, is, and proposes, authors tend to use the present simple. You would also use the present simple for generalizations, overviews, and established facts. As you turn your attention to other sources, whether as part of a dedicated literature review or as part of ongoing engagement with existing literature, you have a few options. First, if the source you are citing has continued relevance in the field or for your specific study, you would typically use the present perfect form. Whereas, if the source has been superseded in some way or is specifically time-bound, you would use the past simple. Some studies rely on experiments, such as lab tests or interviews. The relevant methods are usually also described in the past simple. You will notice that the passive voice is common in method sections. If you would like more information on forming and using the passive voice, watch the Study Smarter Grammar School video on the topic. Note that overusing the passive can make the text harder to read, so look for opportunities to use the active voice when possible. Results are also typically written in the past simple whereas the analysis of those results, or any other sources, is typically written in the simple present. Literary and creative works, such as films and novels, exist in a timeless present, so you would typically use the present simple when discussing, describing and analysing them. Similarly, the present simple is also used when discussing graphs and figures. These are not the only tenses you will use in your academic writing, and you will find exceptions to these patterns the more you read. However, as a general rule, the present simple is used for current or unchanging facts and generalizations, as well as analysis of results and discussion of creative works that exist in a timeless present. The present perfect is typically used for sources that have a continuing relevance or impact, whereas the past simple confines information to the past. Use this tense for sources that are specifically time-bound or superseded as well as for detailing methods and results. Again, if you would like to learn more about tense, watch our video on tense and aspect. Thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for more grammar school videos by Study Smarter.